I was always smaller than everybody else. And my older brother was naturally, he was taller and bigger. And I was just always a little bit more, I guess you want to call it physical, rough. So we're playing this game, we're playing football, and I'm blocking down the field. And I remember blocking my brother and this other guy, Warren, behind him. I remember blocking both of them at the same time. And I, I end up knocking both guys on their backs and they were both in that, they had that wild, like, did, did your little brother just knock both of us down at the same time? And we were going pretty hard. And I think that was probably the, the actual first time that I knew that this is what I was made for, man. This is, this is something that I can really do and I can do it well. May 28th, 2008, and I, I was at practice, and Coach Smith walks over to me and says, hey, you know, they're rushing your daughter to the hospital. You need to go home. Get to the hospital and hook her up to all the machines, and her heart rate is 220. So the doctor, female doctor, she had just had um, a daughter or a baby of her own. So she leans over to me and she goes, look, Mr. Tillman, I'm gonna tell you this because you're, you know, you're really calm and I feel like you can take it. Your daughter's really sick and there is a possibility that she might not make it through the night. She had heart failure at three months. So her heart is basically just quivering, not even, ooh, ooh, ooh. it's not like a full beat. And it's basically just quivering, just dying out. Get a phone call. Got a heart. The doctor's out. Wherever harvesting the organ, he's gonna bring it back. We're gonna perform the surgery. She's gonna be okay. We're sitting there, and this is like a couple hours go by, and they still haven't moved her back for surgery. So we're sitting there, and you're thinking like something's got to be wrong. They haven't even started to prepare for surgery. So the doctor, Dr. Gossett, comes back. And he goes, I'm sorry guys, I got some bad news, you know. We had to reject the, the organ, it just wasn't good enough. You know, once we got it, once we harvested it and we looked at it, it just wasn't, it wasn't a good fit. He told us that news and I remember my wife just, she just melted on the ground. She was like, why, why, this isn't fair, it's not fair. And I felt so helpless as a man because I, I think, you know, most women, you know, their greatest need is security out of a man, and I feel like I can provide that. I'm a big, strong football player. I got muscles and biceps, and you know, I'm a tough guy, and I got money, and I can buy whatever I want. But at this particular time, I was, I was, I was rendered helpless. At that moment, it was just like me surrendering and just saying, God, I, I, I give it all to you right now. Please, just, I, I, I can't fix it. I need you. And it was like a. I don't know, it's just like like a weight, just like a, oh my goodness, I'm done. Fast forward three months to July 31st, she ended up receiving, um, she ended up receiving a heart. A, a typical five-year-old, you know, and that was like a miracle, him part in the Red Sea, making wine out of water, feeding, you know, everybody off two loaves of bread and a fish. Like that was, that was, that was his miracle. And it was, oh, it was, it was beautiful. 